I'm sure you've now, you're now quite happy to have come through the group stage. Two, ex two extremely good wins and just one, one defeat against Sri Lanka. I'm sure you're very happy to be at the semi-final stage now. Yeah, I think um, not just me. I think the whole team is actually happy with the, you know, the performance that we actually had over the past few days. Um, it was quite a shocker with Sri Lanka, but um, we you know, got over it and bounced back pretty well to beat South Africa to be in the semi-final. And to be honest, we're just looking forward to it, working really hard, and hopefully we come out victorious. Okay, the New Zealand game, you, you start against them, you, people say you shocked them, but I'm sure you were always confident you could win that. Then there was the Sri Lanka game, and then you just totally outplayed uh, South Africa. T talk us through those three games. Um, I think for New Zealand, <clears throat> um, to be honest, after, after the game, the coach said, the coach, um, the coach remarks was, um, we decided they had it coming. Because um, into the, when we played them the last time, Yes, they would beat us. Um, they would beat us. Yes, but it was because of a lot of conditions. We never played on the light before, and so we had to adapt to a lot of things. And I think that you know, knowing that we're going to play in New Zealand, I think that we work really, really, really hard, and we just set our mind out, um, set our mind that here what we want this, and we're going after it. Um, <clears throat> I think for send, um, for Sri Lanka game, I think we panic. Most of us actually panic. Because the runs was actually gettable, and I think that we panic in the in the end. And for South Africa, we just said, you know what, they have to pay because um, we lost really horrible against Sri Lanka, and South Africa just had to pay for it. And I think that's what they did. And in that game, you performed well with both ball and bat. You got the player of the match award, so I'm guess it should be a, a certain level of personal satisfaction. Yeah, it was. Um, to be honest, I, when we were in the bus. I was just there meditating, listening to some songs, you know, thinking about what I want to do, what I'm going to do. And um, when we were warming up, the spinners came together and we said that, here what, today, less than 20 runs coming off are over. And if so, four, you know, we could take a four because, you know, most of us going bowl it within the power plays. And I think the spinners came to it and we actually did it. Okay, you're now the semi-final Australia. Four, two years ago, you were in the semi-finals. As you said, you lost in New Zealand. What's the focus like? What's the attitude like now to take on Australia? Yeah, we played them in the warm-up game, and we saw a little thing, but it wasn't so much. And for the for the past, we've been hearing the scores, and um, I know so, um, Australia is a good team. Um, they're gonna come at us hard, and to be honest, we're ready for the fight. I mean, we we came this far, and we want this. We really, really want this. So we're just going out there to do our best. And this, uh, this time around, you know, we're playing in front of television cameras. Um, several million people will be watching. Um, what does this mean for women's cricket? You, you, you are the number one women's cricket in the world. What, what, from your perspective, does this mean for women's cricket? I think for persons, um, for fans especially, um, you know, you've been hearing um, the Facebook talks and, you know, everybody congratulating you and um, everyone wants to see you play. So, I mean, you just go and, you know, you, know, you, do, you really want to go out there and do your best. And it's all about keeping your composure. You know, it's the camera is there, a little jittery is going to be there. It's normal. I think it's, good, um, it's, it's supposed to be normal. So you just have to just keep your composure and, you know, play to your best of your ability. And overall, but for women's cricket being seen on TV, not just the match itself, but the whole position of women's cricket, I'm sure this could go along with. Yeah, I think that, you know, just to get everyone to see what women could actually do on a whole. I mean, yes, they heard about it, they're not seeing it. So I know this is the time to actually let, you know, persons, you know, in the world world to see what women can do. Okay, and from your perspective again, women in the Caribbean, you know, cricket, cricket is now sort of getting on the forefront of you know people's lips in the Caribbean. We have our track stars in Jamaica, your, your homeland. We have the netball team in Jamaica. We have other parts of the Caribbean where women dominate in sport. But for cricket now to come on the on the front page, so to speak, how does that make you feel? I think um, it's it's it, for me it's it's just it's a good feeling. Um, you've been hearing everyone back home talking about, you know, women's cricket and you know what women are actually doing in, in general. And I think for, for women's cricket, I mean, for what the regional tournament that held in Jamaica, I think that was fantastic. Um, you've been hearing about after that, you've been hearing about, you know, women's cricket all over, all over. And you know what we actually did in, the, in, 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 the, in Jamaica, I think that was that was actually good so i think that women it's actually expanding and it's, it's a good look okay excellent um just a, a bit more um 
you are sort of a pioneer, so to speak, in Western You're the first woman to make a thousand ODI runs. You're the first woman to make a thousand T20 international runs. Um, do you see yourself as a pioneer? Do you see yourself as someone that people might someday look up to and say they want to be a second tier? How do you see yourself? Yes, I do see myself as that because um, even now persons, you know, want to be like me. And um, to be honest, it's just, just setting a good example. And I think even in the team, everyone, you know, look up to me in some form of standard and in some ways. So, you know, it's just, to, you know, it's just to steer the, you know, steer the ship and steer it in the right way. And you're very young, you're still very young, so I'm sure the people that you look up to as well, any cricketers that you look up to and say, I want to get, I know you want to get better as a cricketer, you want probably want to break all the world records? Yeah, I would love to. I mean, there's there's a few cricketers that, I, you know, I look hard to, you know, get maybe get some tips from either in their batting or whatever. And Chris Gale and Virat Kohli is one of those two persons. So I think, you know, for me, it's, it's, it's actually good, to be honest. Okay, and to win this tournament would be a great achievement for everybody, all the players, all the support staff. I'm sure the people in the Caribbean would, would be delighted, but from from your perspective, when you think about it, can you sort of even imagine what it would mean to win this? I think it's beyond imagine, you know, beyond that. Um, I think for us as a team, I mean, knowing that we're so young, most of us are so young, uh, we're a young team according to maybe most of the team right now. And I think from what four to five years ago, we you know been we've been training for this, and since that you know 2020 has come about, every it's it's excited, everyone loved the game, and you know most I mean for not for us now is like you know we're playing we're playing because of the love of it, and to actually win something like this, yeah, I think it's it's it would be fantastic.